everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Vibes Talk on Lake TV. I am still your favorite girl, Gift Davy. And as you know, on the show, we bring you nothing but undiluted entertainment while passing across positive vibes to you. And with me today in the studio, I have a good looking young man with me. He is a singer, songwriter, and a performer signed on that P Classic Music Group. He is a Teyamo Corona, and his name is Fabian Okike, aka Singer. Oh my God, it's so good to have you in the studio. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you look really good. You don't need to tell me. I get it. I get it. Okay, so you released your debut song called or titled Teyamo. Teyamo, yeah. What inspired that song? Uh, actually, it's a love song, Teamo. Yeah, to I love you. In Spanish, I love you. Okay. So, I wanted to play around the Latino vibe because I just realized that in the music industry, the song, the, the kind of music they make just sound like similar to each other. So, I wanted to do something different. different. For my debut single, I wanted to be able to be like, who's this guy? Man, this is different, this is fresh. Mm -hmm. So, that was the aim I wanted to achieve, and I actually did. Yeah, yeah. you did. Mixing Igbo and <laughs> so I, How did that happen? Seriously? Yeah, yeah I was, it was just me, me, me being extra creative. Like, I just wanted to add other spice to it, like Igbo. Mm -hmm. just, I just want to catch the attention of various ethnicity and group right. and you know continent and all that so. trust me the world hasn't even heard anything from you because this one i know is going to blow it off it's mine like it's blowing my mind right now and i know a lot of people have been dancing to it on your page i went through your oh instagram and, like saw people dancing and oh god I, I, it's just this one song it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy the love is mad for you, really. it's just it's just two months and i already have 900 thousand views on YouTube. You can imagine. So it's the love has been massive. Like I have so many videos I haven't even put up on Instagram. Yeah. You no, know, I've been touring like I went to Kenya to perform and the love was like everybody was like, geez, who's this guy? Everybody's singing. You're I was touring like, already. Are you serious? We're global now. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide. Oh my god. Oh why? <laughs> okay, okay. Now. Yeah, you're 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 doing a tour right now or or can we actually attribute this? To your record label, sign on the Mr. P. Excuse me, Kenya is like is 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 other home. Like everyone in Kenya loves Mr. P. So something coming from Mr. P. I know everyone. Everybody, loves. everybody loves. Everybody loves the fact that okay, he's from Mr. P. And mm -hmm. he sounds really good. Really he's good. young. Everybody's like okay, this is the next best thing. So right. it's a really good attribute coming out of P. Classic. It's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I really, really commend you for that. It's been a very good job that you did there. But being signed under Mr. P, how did it happen? Hmm. You didn't just um, send him a DM on Instagram or something and I'm like, oh yeah. You just actually, actually, I, I, I don't tag. Whenever I make freestyles on Instagram, I don't tag. I just put it up. And I never tagged him. And I don't know how he just went across my page and saw me freestyle and I was like, yo, this boy is good. And he just sent me a DM. Like, for real? Boy, you're good. And I was like, who's this? Peter. I was like, no, this cannot be Peter. Maybe you take account I went to the account, I saw three point something million. I was like, no, 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 no. So that was where it started from. So I was like, thank you, boss. I didn't want to be pushy and all that. I just mm -hmm. like, thank you. Then after a while, sent me another message. Are you independent? Are you in a liberal? Hmm. I was like, no. And they were like, okay. Send me a number, I'm gonna call you and they call me up. And, and all of this there. was happening when? Last year, that was mid last year, that was when it was happening. So, and then you got signed. I got signed, yeah, I didn't just get signed, like he wanted to really know if this is person there? is really who he is. Okay. So, he called me over, called some friends, I was playing the piano, I was like, I just start singing, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I started singing that everybody was the oh it was quiet, like everybody was quiet, my eyes were closed and for me to open everybody was like wow. <laughs> so that moment uh, like okay this is it, this is it, this is the boy, this hmm. is the guy. So <laughs> Okay, so welcome back to Vibes Talk on Lekki TV. I have with me in the studio the Teamo Corona singer. Okay, so singer, let's 
come back to this, the video. We just played the video. Very nice. The concept is outstanding. Not so many musicians in Nigeria would do what you did. Like it's just you, Peter, and then yeah, just a model. Just very simple. Why? What? Was it just was it your idea or was it the director's idea? It was basically the director's idea. Like something simple. No complex, not having dancers, having so many extras in the video and all that. You know, in a typical Nigerian music video, talking about love, you have you begging a girl to love you, this, that, this, that. But why did you guys do something like that? Like, this one is different. Anyways, I commend you, I commend the director for that. But what are you working on at the moment? Wow, I have a lot of stuff, man. Okay. I'm not even started yet. Like, I'm still warming up. So, they are more, it's doing well. And um, mm -hmm. dropping some couple of songs for the year runs out and you, videos too okay yeah. are you intending working with any other celebrity or any musician definitely any i am i am but i ain't disclosing that yet Not it's yet. gonna be a surprise but i'm working with some big names soon so what about the album are we expecting anything the album i don't know about album probably maybe before the year runs out or next, next year, year or before the next year runs out Okay. All right. So you said you wanted to do something different. To be different needs a lot of hard work. Cause yeah, maybe one. God forbid, maybe your style of music is no longer acceptable in the market. What do you intend to do when something like this happens? How do you intend uh, to stay relevant? Cause that's the word relevant. How do you intend to stay relevant in the music industry? But the funniest part is I don't have a style of music. Like I could just come out and you be like, what? What's up? Who's this? Is it the same guy that did this, that did this? So I just choose to be full of surprises. So I don't want to be predictable. You can't say he sang this. Yeah, or he's going to do something, to like, something that. like that. So that's just what I tend to do. Always giving you different angles, different vibe, different rhythm, different melody. I could just go reggae tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised to hell now. Trust me, not so many of us would be surprised like me, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I could just do that with this song and with the ladies falling along and all that. So that's just me. Or even give us a dance or dance or you could just wake day. up and everybody's dancing. So <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Challenges in the music industry as a new act. What kind of what like what challenges have you been facing currently or before now? Before now, um, it's always difficult. Like as a new act, like sometimes people don't tend to pay attention to the content of your song. You know, when you go to a radio station, like when I started, if I got signed, you go to a radio station, submit your CD and hoping to get it played and it doesn't work out that way. Sometimes you even pay hmm. and they call you and tell you playing your song and then you turn on the radio and then they play it and that that's all. That's where it ends. They don't care if it's good, they don't care if it's if it's awesome, they don't care if it's bad, they just want to get a check and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's a big challenge in like they don't give upcoming artists a chance. Like the way they give the A list yeah, artists. So. so now being here now it's Still a little bit challenging, but it's different because now I have like more attention is being paid to me because of the platform I am already. Yeah. So even if some certain stations don't play my song, there are so many that have <laughs> shit to play. Like I get so many anyway. tweets from radio stations I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get from Canada, sometimes I get from Austria playing my song. I get tweets. So wow. it's just now this social media made it easier like before so it's been good there's always challenges everywhere so we've been thriving and i'm already here and i'm here to stay so right <laughs> we can't wait to hear so much more from you but then the challenge here you've spoken about them the experience signed under such a big brand mr p like p classic music group what has your experience been so far wow it's been awesome like i've been exposed to a lot like things I never thought I could, mm -hmm. I could see places I never imagined myself being. To, uh, people I never imagined meeting. So I've met them and I've dined with them. I've spoken. I've shook hands. So it's been it's been awesome. And 
it's 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 also people expect a lot from you coming out of peak classic. Yeah. Right? When I drive by my hood, they'll be like, "Where's your Jeep? Where's your where's your home, I man? Don't you know who signed you? Peak classic and all that." <laughs> people don't I know don't know. So I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, you must be signed and then they sign you with a car or so with that's, forty that's million just, dollar with checks. Forty million dollar checks and all that. So that's just it. But you know. Okay, talking about challenges, what has your experience been so far signing under such a big brand, P Classic Music Group? It's been awesome, like, it's, it's been really awesome, like, I've gotten to, you know, dine with a lot of great people. The big fishes the in big the fishes industry, in the yeah, street, right? To shake hands and all that. So, I've been to places I never thought I would be, like, mm. on a regular, so... It's been awesome, like, I've been exposed to a lot, like, a whole lot, so... And at the same time, it's a little bit, people they tend to expect too much from you. From right? you, like, yeah. When you roll up in the hood, they'll be like, come <laughs> on, you know, driving a Hummer Jeep, come on, it's peak classic, it's peak classic. I'll be like, calm down, man. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I don't know. Be signed on such a big group, does it come with um, big cars or multi million dollar checks? I don't that's, that's how they say it. That's how they say it. That's how but they it's say only it. a matter of time. You know, you have to work for it. There. We're getting there, it's just yeah. a matter of time. All yeah, of these things will soon fall in place. So buy cars. You feel the garage, the fleet of expensive cars. Very, very soon. So, what advice have you got for upcoming artists out there aspiring to be like you one day and praying that one day a brand as big as P Classic Music would sign them? What advice do you have for them? Well, don't stop. And whatever you're doing, make sure it's you're good at it. Trust me, you can't just wake up and say I want to be an artist and you haven't evaluated yourself well. You don't know if you're good, you don't know your strength and you just come out and say I want to sing. If you're talented, just keep doing it. Don't stop. You don't know. Somebody's watching. Like, I never knew what's happening. I was just doing my thing on a low. And then somebody, I just cut an eye of, a, of an A-list artist. So you don't know who you, who's watching. Somebody's looking at you and just always make sure you keep this good blend. It's not everything you try there in social media because somebody you're a brand and people tend to not look just on the talent they look down on how what they see around you and mm -hmm. so just keep doing it it's gonna happen one day definitely okay yeah. that is a good advice for singer you heard it is not proud he's humble he's telling you do this do that if you want to stay up on your game so how would your fans reach out to you or for those that want you on their show and all of that, how would they reach you? If they well, my, my Instagram handle is official underscore singer. Singer is spelled S I G A H, S I N G A H, official underscore S I N G A H. Twitter is the same thing, official underscore G A H. Facebook, Okike Fabian Singer. Um, on my Instagram, you get to see the, the link to my management, one management on okay. my Instagram page, on my bow. So if you want to hook up or for sure, hook me up for sure or a gig just go down to my instagram page to check my power you see in one management you could contact them so it's all good all right you heard it from the tayama corona himself singer and that is it from us on vibe stock on lucky tv today if you want to keep up you want to share your views you want to give a comment or you want to suggest some things follow us on www.lucky.tv and follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Lekki TV. And I'll see your favorite girl, Gift David. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Gifty. And that is it from everybody here. Mamacita te amo Love the way that you want it always for me Señorita te amo Love the way that the booty rotates for me Where the questions me a ninga Girl you know that I love you Oh 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 Anything that you want me to, tell I go do for you. Because when I tell you, I know.